Well, welcome everyone. Good morning. Glad to see you all here. If you will, let's all stand and we'll begin worship this morning. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you, my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you. I want to see shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open, I want to see you. I want to see you. See you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. 
as we sing holy 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 i want to see you holy 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 Welcome to November. Welcome to Standard Time. We are glad that you're here. Uh, fall back is easy. Spring forward is hard. But we are glad that you're here. Uh, glad that you made it. Uh, I'm glad that you're worshiping with them. those of you who are joining us online. We're glad you're here as well. Um, let us open with a word of prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for this beautiful fall morning. God, we thank you for the opportunity to worship. God, we thank you for those that have gathered here in this sanctuary and those that have gathered with us online. God, we pray that you'd pour out your Holy Spirit upon this place and all the places where we are. God, that you would open our hearts and our minds to your word today as we worship together with all your saints on earth and in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's continue worship this morning. At your name, the mountain shake and crumble. At your name, the oceans roar and rumble. At your name, angels will bow, the earth will rejoice, your people cry out. Lord of all the Shout your name, filling up the skies with these endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh. Your name, oh Lord. At your name, the morning breaks in glory. At your name, creation sings your story. At your name, angels will bow, the earth will rejoice, your people cry out. The earth we shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with Endless praise, endless 
praise Yahweh, Yahweh. We love to shout your name, O Lord. Like our God, we will praise you, praise you. There's no one like our God. We will sing, we will sing. There is no one like our God. We will praise you, praise you. No one like our God. We will sing, we will sing. There is no one like our God. We will praise you, praise you. Jesus, you are God. We will sing. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name. Filling up the skies with endless praise. Endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh. We love to shout your name, O Lord. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name. Filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh. We love to shout. Oh, Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, O oh Lord. Oh, Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, O oh Lord. You may be seated. Let us offer our gifts to God. You say go, we will go. We wait, we will wait. You say step out on the water, and they say it can't be. Fix our eyes on you, and we will come. You say go. say step out on the water and they say it can't be done we'll fix our eyes on you and we will come your ways are higher than our ways and the plans that you have laid are good and true if you call us to the fire we will not withdraw your hand Gaze into the flames and look for you. You say go. Oh, we will go. You say wait, we'll wait. You say step out on the water and they say it can't be done. We'll fix our eyes on you and we will come. It's your ways are higher than our ways and the plans that you have laid are good and true. If you call us to the fire, you will not withdraw your hand. We'll gaze into the flames and look for you. Yes, if you call us to the fire, we will not withdraw your hand. We'll gaze into the flames and love for you.
Let us pray. Almighty God, giver of every good and perfect gift, we give thanks to you for all the gifts that you have given to us. And God, especially today, we praise you and thank you for the saints that have gone before us and the gifts that they have left. You bless the givers and the gifts and those who have not to give. Use our gifts and us to do your work throughout the earth and to bring glory to your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Would the children come forward, please? Hey guys, come on up. Come on up. How are you all today? Good, good, good. So, does anybody know, today's a very special day in church, because we have a lot of very special days in church, don't we? Every day in church is a special day, isn't it? That's right. So, today's, but today is a special day. Does anybody know what today is? Let me know what day is. Today is all, and it's a day that we celebrate the saints. Do you know what a saint is? You do know what a saint is? What's a saint? Does anybody know what a saint is? Anybody? Well, sometimes we think when we use the word saint, we mean somebody like that's really, really good. And, and that's true. Or sometimes we think of somebody who's maybe done a great, big, important thing in the church, like St. Paul or St. Peter or St. John. And that's true, too. And sometimes we think that when we think of saints, we think of somebody who's passed away in the church. And, of course, that's true, too. But did you know that the Bible says that everyone who believes in Jesus is a saint? So I'm a saint, and you all are saints, and they're all saints. And that may be news to your parents, that you're saints. They may not know that, but now they do. You, you and today we celebrate the saints, and we celebrate the saints especially who have gone before us, who have died in our church. And so the Bible says that the saints in heaven are like a great cloud of witnesses. And you know what they're doing? They're cheering for us. So the Bible paints a picture of we're down here. We're like running a race. Do you ever run a race? Anybody ever run a race? Okay. And did you have people cheering for you? Yeah. So so the saints in heaven, they're cheering for us. They got their banners out like this. They're yelling and they're screaming and they're cheering and they're clapping. All for us. They're up in heaven cheering for us as we continue uh, to live our lives of faith here on earth. And I bet if we're really quiet sometimes, we could eat. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the saints here on earth. Who help us and thank you for the saints in heaven who are cheering for us in Jesus name Amen all right remember not picking flavors all right all right you know you just have to grab one you can't pick a flavor just grab one You can give that one to your brother, okay? There you go. Oh, he's already got one. Can you, okay. Well, good morning again. We are glad that you're here. Um, I just want to make um, just a couple of announcements. I want to refer you to your bulletin for most of them. Uh, we do have our, our uh, craft table back, so the, the table at the back of the sanctuary with the remainder items from the craft fair. 
uh, for a free will offering. Please take those home. Um, there's something back there that you need and you have money in your pocket that we need. I propose a trade. So, um, so please, uh, please pass by there and be generous. Um, also, so, uh, the church uh, that are left here from Marilyn Smith's service, again, if you can find a home for those uh, where they will be enjoyed, uh, we would appreciate that too. Just take those with you. Feel free to do so. Um, and with all of that, I will just leave the rest of those announcements in your bulletin for you, uh, you to read and be, be aware of. Our scripture reading this morning comes from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Listen to the word of God. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. The word of God for the people of God. Let us pray. Dear God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, today is All Saints Sunday, uh, the day we set aside in the church to remember those who have gone before us. The actual day is November 1st. We move it to the first Sunday so that we can celebrate together. Um, saint is a is a, a tricky word because a lot of us uh, bring uh, baggage from the larger world into, like many terms, we bring baggage from the larger world into the definition of our word, word saint. Uh, we might describe someone who is particularly holy, and that's actually a, 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 a good definition uh, since they share the same Greek root, um, hagia or holy. Um, We uh, may uh, think of a saint as somebody who has uh, been a figure in church history that has uh, made a great contribution. We might think about St. Peter or St. Paul or uh, St. Augustine or um, St. Francis or somebody like that. That's true. Uh, In fact, the Roman the word saint. There's a process they they put people through before they will um, they will confer upon them the title saint, saying that this is a person who is who is worth reading and worth um, considering and worth uh, uh, following as an example of following Christ. Uh, we we tend to think about saints also. Maybe you, you get to be a saint after you die. Uh, but in truth, at least for our usage as Protestants, a saint, properly so called, is anyone who has put their faith in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And so in that sense, I'm a saint, and so are all of you, even if we don't always live like it, and even if we will never find our names listed in the annals of church history. The author of Hebrews describes the saints, that is, those in heaven, as a great cloud of witnesses. So, I'm a saint, you're a saint, they're saints. So, how did they and how do we get to be saints? Very simply, by faith. By faith. And and so... This, this passage in Hebrews chapter 12, which I just read to you, uh, begin, begins, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. And so 
Uh, all of you are Bible scholars, and so that you know that when you see the word therefore in the Bible, you have to... When you see what the word therefore is, you have to find... When you see the word therefore, you have to find out what the therefore is there for. And because it's referring to something, information you need to, that, that, that the author used to draw this conclusion. And so again, Bible scholars, uh, we know that Hebrews chapter 12 is immediately preceded by Hebrews chapter 11. Very good, I told you you were Bible scholars. Hebrews chapter 11 comes before Hebrews chapter 12. Um, so we look back at Hebrews chapter 11, and Hebrews chapter 11 a definition of faith. It says, now faith is for and the assurance or the evidence. See, we tend to think of faith as a, a train of thoughts in our head. Right? We tend to think of faith as a faith. I, I've talked to you about the difference between the faith and our faith. Right? Um, there's the faith. The truth, the word, the gospel. It is eternal, it is solid, it is unchanging. That's called the faith. And we have to put our faith in the faith to have faith. Right? So it's, it's not a matter of the strength of our convictions or the strength of our feelings from day to day or the train of thoughts that we have going through our head at any given moment because because we know that those change. What's solid, what's firm, what lasts is the faith. And it's true whether we believe it or not. It's true whether we believe it or not. It's not like, we're not like Wiley Coyote. Remember Wiley Coyote? He'd run off the cliff and he'd keep running until he became aware of down and then he fell. Right? That's not how, some people think that's how we right? And, and a lot of people think that it's believing in what they want to believe in of their imagination or just believing in their own strength of whatever they, they want, that that's going to help them. It's not. And the in something is Jesus Christ, and that is solid. Hebrews chapter 11, we sometimes call Hebrews chapter 11 the hall of faith uh, because it summarizes the faith of all the Old Testament heroes. And, and so what the author of Hebrews is going to do, he's going to define faith, then he's going to give us a bunch of examples. And he's going to talk about all the Old Testament saints. Adam and, and Noah and Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and, and Moses and David and Isaiah, the prophets. What he's trying to say is that all of these, from Abraham through the patriarchs, through Moses, through the judges, through David, through Isaiah, that all of these people had faith in God, had faith in what God was going to do one day, that their faith, even though they didn't know it, was looking forward to Jesus. Because he's the pioneer and perfecter. He's the, he's the one that went before us. And he's the one that comes behind us cleaning up the mess. He is the object of faith in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. And then he's going to go on at the end of Hebrews chapter 11 and say, he's going to talk about the martyrs. Those who, those who were in prison, those who were tortured, those who were killed for their faith, those who were born, burned alive, those who were beheaded, those who were left stranded to die on deserted islands, those who were fed to wild animals. Friends, this is why faith must be a sign thing, just an imaginary thing in our heads, because 
saints of old and saints all around the world today. For the, and friends, they are not dying for a figment of their imaginations. Because no one would do that. That we can live for it so solid that we can die for it. And then Hebrews 11.6, right in the middle of this chapter, says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who, believe, anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists. Right? If, if, if you want to please Me, you have to begin with an acknowledgement of My existence. Right? Anybody out there that doesn't believe that I exist, we can't be friends. Okay? Right? That seemed to make sense? You have to believe that I exist in order to have a relationship with me. But it goes beyond that. It goes beyond believing that God exists because the next thing it says that God, anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He is a rewarder of those who earnestly, diligently seek Him. So it's a matter of seeking after God. It's a matter of placing our trust, our allegiance in God and a matter of obeying Him because saving faith is an obeying faith. Saving faith is a serving faith. It's a seeking faith. That's the faith that makes us saints. Not not just some ideas running around our heads about God. Not just simply believing that God exists. But a faith that seeks God and a faith that serves God and a faith that obeys God. God. That's the faith that saves us. That's the faith that makes us saints. And now this faith has been handed down to us by the saints who have gone before us. And of course, when I say saints, I of course mean Peter and Mary. Peter, Paul and Mary, right? Um, And I mean Augustine and I mean Francis and I mean uh, Anselm, and I mean uh, Patrick and Valentine, and I mean those saints, but I also mean Uncle Joe and Aunt Gertrude. I mean the Sunday school teacher, choir member, the kitchen lady, the roof repairer, all of them, all of us are saints. By faith in Jesus Christ. And the saints that have gone before us here at Wesley have left behind a great heritage. A heritage, legacy gifts, faith, and That's what they've left to us. We are running the race of faith. And as we the saints are watching us and cheering for us. You see, they are That's what we say in the creed. The communion of the saints. They are with us here today. Listen. Can you hear them? Because they echo off every wall. They're cheering for us. And so... Let us put our faith in Jesus Christ. Let us run the race that is set before us. And let us remember the cloud of witnesses. Let us. Dear God, we thank You for the life and legacy of the saints that have gone before us. God, the great saints of church history, but also 
the perhaps lesser known local saints here at Wesley here in the flesh today are joining us online. God gathered in this place the saints on earth and in heaven all together. God, help us to become more and more Your witnesses on earth as we are surrounded and cheered on by the witnesses in heaven. Help us to run the race. Help us to finish strong. Help us to put our faith in You. God, we pray for this church. We pray that You'd bless us and help us to grow and prosper. Help us to worship and serve You in spirit and in truth and serve the world in Your name. God, we pray for the whole body of Christ throughout the world. We pray for the persecuted church. We pray for the United Methodist Church. We pray for this annual conference and our Bishop Lori, this district, and our Superintendent Doug. We pray for our community, our nation, and our world in these troubled times. We pray for all the people and places who are in need throughout the world today. God, we pray for all those that are sick, all those that are suffering, all those that are struggling. We pray for men and women who serve us at home and abroad. We pray for our world leaders at every level. And we pray for ourselves, our families, our church, our community, our nation, and the whole world, the blessings of peace, justice, health, safety, freedom, stability, prosperity, and holiness. And now, O oh God, we pray that you'd hear the prayer of each and every heart that is worshiping with us today either in person or online, as we lift up our prayers to You, either silently or aloud, saying, in Jesus' name, Amen. Loving God, you've heard our prayers here this morning, and you hear the prayers that remain silent upon our hearts. Oh God, you know our every need, and when we do not know how to pray, your Spirit intercedes for us with groanings that are too deep for words. And God, we pray that you hear us now as we lift our voices together in the prayer which our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now I invite you to stand and join me in professing our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. On the third day, he again. He is heaven. It is the right Father and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. 
Communion. Um, we will be adding uh, the cup to our communion this, this week. It's been away from us for a long time, but we are adding it back. We're going to be using the individual cups. And so uh, to receive communion this morning, uh, come down the center aisle. I'll offer you a wafer. Again, the best way to receive that is step either to your, to your left or to your right, depending on what side you're on. A server will hand you a cup of, of juice, and then there are trash cans as you get to the um, outer aisles uh, to, to dispose of those cups and return to your seat. Um, and I will say that if, if you still have concerns about the cup, receiving the wafer alone is completely appropriate. If you would like to take a wafer home to a loved one who cannot be here, um, we have have the clear plastic pixels here at the front and would like to receive I invite you to participate in spiritual if you would like to receive communion uh, we will uh, get to you and make that happen for you dear friends the united methodist church practices open communion christ our lord invites to his table all those and to their sins and all those who seek to live in peace with one another and young children are welcome to participate in the discretion of their parents. Therefore, let us prepare ourselves to receive this holy sacrament by confessing and repenting of our sins. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. God of Abraham and Sarah, God of Miriam and Moses, God of Joshua and Deborah, God of Ruth and David. God of the priests and the prophets, God of Mary and Joseph, God of the apostles and martyrs, God of our mothers and our fathers, God of our children to all generations. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join the Holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me.
And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts, offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. Renew our communion with all your saints, especially those whom we name Anne Jones, Sandy Houston, James Heyer, James Carter, Dorothy Mall. Marion Michaels, Van Hafton, Mary, Marilyn Smith, Sonny Anderson. Dick Anderson. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, strengthen us to run with perseverance the race set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, one in ministry to all the world till Christ in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Would the servers come forward, please? Thirsty, come to the fountain. Dip your heart in the streams of life. Let the pain and the sorrow be washed away in the waves of His mercy. His deep cries out to. We sing, come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. All who are thirsty. found 
Would you please join me in the prayer after communion? Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Cross before me the world behind Turn it back, raise your banner high It's not for me, it's all for you Let the heavens shake and people clap their hands and cry It's not for us, it's all for you Not to us, but to your name Glory, not to us, but to your name be the glory. Hearts unfold before your throne, 
only place for those who know it's not for us, it's all for you. Send your holy fire on this offering. Let a worship burn for the world to see. It's not for us, it us, but to you. Shaking the mountain, shouting, it's all for you. The sun is raging, it's all for you. Universe is spinning and singing, it's all for you. Children dancing, 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 it's all for you. Not to the glory, not to us, but to your name be the glory, not to us, but to your name be the glory, not to us, but to your name be the glory, not to, not to us, but to your name be the glory. Not to us, to your name be the glory. Receive this benediction. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, and may the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit go with you now and remain with you always. Let us go into the world to make disciples of Jesus Christ, experiencing grace, exploring truth, expressing love. Amen. It's shouting. It's always a crashing. The sun is raging. It's all for you. The universe is spinning and singing, it's all for you. The children dancing, 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 it's all for you. Not to us, but to your name, not to us.